it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bottle of Beer Messina. This is the Pale Lager coming in at 4.7% ABV in a 330ml bottle. We have a blue bottle cap. The company's owned by Heineken Italy, or Heineken Italia as they quite rightly call themselves. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I've had the Crystal, the Crystal Messina. Christ, I think it's called Cristalli and I think it's got a little bit of salt in it. Absolutely amazing, amazing beer. Really, really big fan of it. I had a keg of it on the blade, an 8 litre keg, and I also tried it in the bottle. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to seeing what beer and machine that have kind of come up with here. Be quite interesting. I mean, I'm trying to excuse my kind of non-knowledgeable Italian lager thing going on here, but um, probably Peroni is owned by Imbev. Now, if Peroni is owned by Imbev and they've got a big sale in the market, a big stake in the Italian beer market, then of course Heineken Italia, they're going to want to have their own beer in the market, which I think this is what they're trying to line up. They're trying to line up this beer and Messina series of beers to become the next, maybe, Peroni challenger. They have um, Beer of Moretti, which is a great beer. And there's a couple of other... i tell you what, it's another... Just while we're on the subject, um, whilst I did the Tenant, not, was it Tenant Super? Tenant Super. A lot of people commenting in the comments box saying Tenant Super is massive in Italy. There's, there's umbrellas outside, people sitting around umbrellas with Tenant Super written on it. And they're all drinking Tenant Super, like 7% ABV. Which I find quite bizarre. Quite bizarre. Um, but anyway, back to this beer then. We've got a one finger white head. I've got it fresh out the fridge, this one. Um, good levels of carbonation. Uh, let's get the aroma on this straw coloured lager. It smells like a solid, solid, solid pale lager. Something which you would kind of come to expect if you were in Italy and you wanted a lager. Light, crisp. Malty, peppery, spicy, touch of lemon in there. It's quite a big hoppy blast. Let's uh, dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. It's okay. It's okay. It's fresh. It's refreshing. For me personally, if I had to choose between the two beers, the, the, the Cristalli, Cristalli de Sale, I think it's called, um, which means salt beer. I would definitely choose the salt beer if you give me the choice between the two beers. This is a regular pale lager. This is going to go for your kind of your mass market, thirsty drinkers in Italy who, who just want to refresh themselves on a, on a hot Italian day. And there's no problem there. Absolutely no problem whatsoever because, of course, there's a big, big market for this stuff. And that's the reason why it's a big, big market. And there's a big, big kind of thing to still play for I think in the lager market is if you can produce something tasty but very very drinkable that's the key ultimately a very very drinkable beer then you're gonna you're gonna have something a bit of a success on your hands when it comes to kind of like selling the beer and um, I can point to I've had beer and Moretti number a number a number of times I've had it on the blade I've had it on the Krups, the subcompact. I've had bottles and cans of the stuff. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay over here in the UK. 
But I'll tell you one circumstance where I was in Italy and it was a boiling hot day. Um, my mother-in-law lives on a farm in Italy and we just couldn't get away from the heat. It was just one of those days, boiling hot day, couldn't get away from the heat. So I said to my, excuse me, my young daughter at the time, let's have a walk into town, I'll buy you an ice cream. So we walked into town, I had to pick up some groceries for, you know, for tea. Bought my daughter an ice cream in the bar, the Mickey Mouse bar, and I had a I had a pint of um, beer and Moretti. And they sat me outside. They got me a nice bowl of peanuts. There was nobody in the bar. It was a quiet bar during the day. They got me a bowl of peanuts on my table for free, and they got me this big, cold, freezing cold lager. This this, this beer and Moretti. And after being stuck in in the hot weather and not being able to move from it, you know when you're like. Boiling up. I tell you what, that was one of the nicest points I ever had. You're in the moment. You're in. You're in the. It's quite difficult to. I think a lot of you are kind of knowing what I'm trying to say here. It's kind of like in the moment. Some of the best things in life are in the moment. A surprise party is in the moment. It's one of the best parties you'll ever have because you're not expecting it. Um, you're not kind of like stressing about things. You just go and enjoy yourself. Same as a beer. You're in, you're in a foreign land, you try their beer, the sun's blazing down, you might have a little bit of music playing in the background, you might have someone barbecuing some kind of like outdoor-y type food. Someone gives you a cold lager. Could be one of the best beers in the world. So going round back to this, I think, wherever this is from, can we see where this is from? Um, yeah, it's from Strada Statel Appia, I think. My Italian's terrible, so I think. But anyway, you get it. It's probably a nice little town in Italy. Fresh pizzas cooking on the pizza ovens. Cold beer. Bit of music playing in the background, little market town, sitting in the square. Lots of European cities and towns have squares. You know, when you've got a nice you got a nice cold lager, resting your legs. Lovely. This won't set the world alight, I promise you. I'm standing here in my kitchen in the UK. Bit of it's meant to be summer here, but a bit of a dull day out there. And I, I promise you it's not setting the world alight here. But have it in its setting. And it will set the world alight, I promise you. It just, that's how your brain works. But I like it, it's carbonated. It's light, it's crisp, it's refreshing. It's pale, it's a bit hoppy, it's wet, it's drinkable, yeah. As a beer reviewer, as a, as a craft beer reviewer, um, I shouldn't be giving this beer any more than a 6 out of 10. So I'm going to give it a, after all of that, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. But, pretty sure, if I was out in Italy in that moment, drinking it, enjoying it, then I'd probably be giving it an 8 out of 10. I hope you liked the video, I hope you kind of like my, my way of trying to kind of justify this, this beer if you like. Not just quite justify it, but put it in its setting. Put it where it should be, where it should be drank. 6 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.